Hygiene Heroes, The Case of the Dirty Duo by Jennifer Cullen. Twins, Dill and Maple, were complete opposites. Dill was left-handed, Maple was right-handed. Dill liked chocolate ice cream, Maple liked vanilla ice cream. Dill liked the sun and warm weather, Maple liked the snow and cold weather. But there was one way Dill and Maple were the same. They always washed their hands because they both hated getting sick. Lately, however, they stopped washing their hands so they were sick all the time. Dill and Maple's mom took their temperatures and gave them some medicine for the fevers. Just then, the doorbell rang. When Dill and Maple's mom answered the door, there stood sanitizer and bar soap and water. Hi, Hi Mom. Mom. We're, We're here, here to, to let you know, know that, that Mr. Grump, Mr. Grump an evil wizard, wizard, wizard has cast, cast an anti-hygiene spell, anti -hygiene spell on your children. But well, we're here to help. help, the two hygiene heroes said at the same time. Mom led the hygiene heroes into the living room where Dill and Maple were eating popsicles and watching television. <laughs> what are, what you, are guys you guys doing, doing here? here? Dill and Maple said together, We'll, we'll show, you. show you, the hygiene heroes said. The hygiene heroes recited a rhyme. What's, What's up? up? Lather, 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 rinse, 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 rinse wash, wash up. up. Dill, Maple, and the hygiene heroes flew through the air to the superhero's hideout, the medicine chest. Dill, Maple, and the hygiene heroes landed in the secret hideout with a clank. <laughs> Dill and Maple looked around at all the spy equipment that filled the hideout. There were hidden cameras, audio recording devices, a microscope, a fingerprint analysis kit, and more. Sanitizer flipped on a TV screen. An unfamiliar man's face appeared on the screen. This here is Mr. Grump, a dangerous wizard who's cast an anti-hygiene spell on you. Sanitizer explained. Why is Mr. Grump so dangerous? Maple asked. Just because he can't see germs, he doesn't think they exist, and he wants kids all over the world to believe this too. Bar Soap and Water said. How do we know you're telling us the truth about germs? Dill asked. Go ahead and play with all the spy equipment in this hideout, and then I'll show you. Sanitizer said. Dill and Maple picked up two walkie-talkies. They ran to opposite sides of the hideout and used them to communicate. Find the drone on your side of the hideout, attach it to the GPS tracker, and send it to me, Maple said to Dill. Copy that. Dill replied. He found a drone in a nearby box, taped a GPS tracker to it, and flew the drone across the room to Maple. Mabel caught the drone, took off the GPS tracker, and attached it to her shoe. Time for a game of hide and seek! Use the GPS tracker to find me! Mabel said into her walkie talkie. Ten four, good buddy! Dill replied. Dill turned off his walkie talkie so Mabel wouldn't hear it crackle as he tried to find her. Then he took out his cell phone and uploaded a GPS tracker app. He used the app to find Maple hiding behind a container of medicine. <laughs> ha! Found you! Dill called as he snuck up behind Maple and tapped her on the back. Maple jumped with surprise. Come over here, kids. Sanitizer shouted and motioned for them to join him near a table with a microscope sitting on it. You asked me earlier how I know germs are real. I'm going to show you. Put your hands under this microscope, Sanitizer said. Dill and Maple placed their hands under the microscope. Sanitizer projected an image of the kids' hands up on a screen. As soon as the kids saw their hands on the screen with lots and lots of colorful specks moving all over their hands, Mr. Grump's evil spell was broken. <laughs> What the, the heck, heck is, is all over our hands? hands? Dill and Maple cried out. Bacteria and viruses, otherwise known as germs, are teeny tiny particles that live on all the surfaces we touch. We're exposed to millions of germs each day. 
They're on the walkie-talkies, the GPS tracker, the drone, your cell phone, and the hideout floor, and now the germs are all over your hands, Sanitizer said. Get them off, get them off, get them off! Maple screamed as she shook her hands all around. <laughs> Hold your horses, little sister, Bar Soap and Water said. I know bacteria can sound like a totally bad thing, but some bacteria are totally good. Your body needs certain types of bacteria to keep a healthy, well-balanced environment on your skin, Sanitizer explained. But our mom told us that germs make us sick, Dill told the hygiene heroes. That is true. When certain germs get inside your body, they rob your cells of nutrients, make you feel tired, and create poisonous proteins called toxins. These toxins cause infections that trigger nasty symptoms like fever, <laughs> cough, rash, vomiting, uh, and diarrhea. Uh, Boss Open Water explained. How do the germs get inside of us? Maple wondered. Germs can get in through your eyes, nose, and mouth or cracks in your skin. Sanitizer explained. That's why it's important to wash your hands throughout the day, especially after you use the bathroom. Play outside. Play with a pet. Or before you eat food. Bar soap and water explained. Is it okay to wash our hands with just water? Dill asked. Actually, you need to wash your hands with soap and water because their superpowers work together. Soap has the superpower to reduce water's surface energy. This means it can lift germy dirt and oils off surfaces and then water has the power to wash the germy grime away. Bar Soap and Water explained. Do I need to wash with a special kind of soap? Maple asked. Nope, just regular old-fashioned soap. The kind without added antibacterial chemicals effectively reduces bacteria and other virus-causing germs. In fact, the most important thing is the way you wash, not the kind of soap you use. Bar Soap and Water told the children, What's the best way to wash our hands? Dill asked. Think of the acronym WSWD, Bar Soap and Water said. First, turn on the sink and wet your hands with clean water. <laughs> the temperature doesn't matter. It can be warm, cool, or in between. Second, apply soap to your hands and rub the bubbles all over your hands for at least 20 seconds. <laughs> or sing the happy birthday song twice. You can sing out loud or in your head. Third, rinse all the bubbles off your hands with clean running water. <laughs> Finally, use a clean towel or air dryer to dry your hands. What if my hands are dirty but I don't have access to soap and water? Maple asked. That's where I come in, said Sanitizer. I have several superpowers. One is I'm portable so you can carry me around in your purse, backpack, or pocket. My other superpower is when I contain at least 60% alcohol, you can use me to wash your hands in place of soap and clean water. Sanitizer explained. Do I wash my hands with sanitizer the same way I use soap? Dill asked. No, the procedure's a little different. Think of the acronym CRD. Sanitizer said. Number one. Cover all the surfaces of your hands with the hand sanitizer. Two, rub the sanitizer all over your hands, paying special attention to getting all the nukes and crannies like between your fingers. Number three, rub your hands together until the sanitizer evaporates about 20 seconds and your hands feel dry. <laughs> Since sanitizer is so convenient, can I always use it in place of soap and water? Maple wondered. Honestly, my superpowers aren't as strong as butter soap and water's powers. I can't eliminate as many germs off your hands as she can. And I'm not as good at getting grease and grime off your hands either, sanitizer admitted. Now that you know why it's important to wash your hands, you promise to keep your hands clean from now on? The hygiene heroes asked. Yes! yes. The twins hollered happily. The hygiene heroes gave the children a basket filled with soaps and hand sanitizers that they could try at home. Dill and Maple thanked the hygiene heroes for their help. Thank you! 
And then they called their mom, she picked them up, and took them home. As soon as they got home, they practiced washing their hands with all the different soaps and sanitizers. Dill's favorite soap was dark orange and smelled like red grapefruit. Maple's favorite soap was green and smelled like cucumber. They both liked the hand sanitizer that smelled like coconut. So yummy. From that day forward, Dill and Maple kept their hands clean. They were sick less often, and as a result, they had a lot more time for fun activities with friends. <laughs> Mr. Grump snuck into the hygiene hero's hideout when they were gone on a special mission. <laughs> he smiled mischievously as he spray painted a note on their wall that read, The big one is coming. And it's gonna be epic. <laughs> then he hopped onto his flying motorcycle and flew away into the night. 